life. Hello there. Today we will be talking about Rome and its military. Its glory and prestige was unrivaled at the time it allowed Rome to become a powerhouse. Although revolts and coups were common, the Roman military was unrivaled in its expansion due to combat technology and very organized legions. <laughs> Roman military was so successful in part because of its combat technology. While it's not as obvious as having state-of-the-art catapults or a massive infantry, an expansive system of roads was an important weapon. Legions were able to transport supplies and materials quickly and safely through the empire to fight efficiently. These roads span throughout the empire and many are still used today. As well as their extensive and advanced road systems, the Romans had extremely organized legions. That's right. Roman commanders created an atmosphere of fear among the troops. Floggings and corporal punishment were common and created discipline. <laughs> Along with that, troops were constantly marching and performing grueling drills. They trained with the intensity of battle, so when the day of battle came, it was no surprise. gigantic expansions of land conquered by the Romans and the conflicts that came with. One major turning point in Roman expansion was the Punic Wars. Three long, brutish, and barbaric wars were fought against Carthage, the North African threat to Rome. The Romans first gained control over Sicily, then the Iberian Peninsula, and then finally Carthage after the end of three wars. One notable moment from these wars was the Carthaginian general Hannibal marching through the Alps with war elephants. Yeah, that's pretty neat if you ask me. Rome's expansion put Rome on the map as a trading hub, and goods from all around the Mediterranean world flowed through the empire. Riches and resources were abundant, Throughout the empire and Rome was stoked on life. In other words, they were raking it in. Unfortunately, the expansion and wealth couldn't last forever. An empire needs to expand in order to progress. However, at a certain point, empires get too large to effectively govern and it all goes downhill. Other problems also began to plague the Roman military as the government transitioned from republic to empire, soldiers became loyal to just their commander and not to Rome. This is due to generals promising soldiers land for service. 
These commanders would then fight each other for power with the loyalty of their soldiers. Oh, hey, it's you again. Come take a seat and take a wild trip with me. Although wealthy patricians were able to thrive economically, inflation and an over-reliance on slave labor caused the Roman economy to struggle due to shortages of precious metals, dangerous trade routes, and rich landowners holding all of the wealth. The Roman military was spread out too much and couldn't communicate with each other. Also, the army was no longer built up of citizens and was replaced with mercenaries who weren't loyal to the emperor or Rome. Also, the Roman army was very expensive to maintain. Trade is struggling because of pirates in the Mediterranean and Germanic tribes near the land borders of Rome. They would threaten traders and cause disruptions in the normal flow of the trade and economy. Germans also took refuge in Rome to hide from the Huns, causing inflation and loss of many jobs. Also, jobs were scarce since the slave labor took over many big plantations. Since slaves were the workforce, the plantation owners made more money since they didn't have to pay their workforce. During the slave period, the gap between the rich and poor grew tremendously. Christianity became the state religion in 380 AD and took away traditional Roman values and replaced polytheistic Roman religion, the Pope and other church leaders now had a say in government. As we can see through many examples, failing loyalty, depleted farmland, and disrupted trade caused the mighty Roman Empire to fall.